Hello everyone, it's Stephanie with Glitiful. Today we are going to learn how to do a painted on um, geode. And uh, so here are the supplies you're gonna need. You're going to need Mod Podge. Um, you can absolutely use the epoxy method, but to save us time, I am going to be using Mod Podge to lay our base glitter down. Uh, stainless steel tumbler or you know water bottle whatever works for you uh, one that has been prepped uh, properly prepped and if you don't know how to do that I'll have that in the description link below um, mine is actually going to be uh, it's prepped by it being sand sanded um, and wiped down but I do not have a base uh, white or black color spray paint or any other color because my glitter is actually going to be a, a new color that we have in our collection called Remington. And she's this beautiful metallic-y kind of pewterish silver. So I kind of wanted to keep her integrity um, by leaving this without any color. Um, so the other two colors that you're going to need, I would prefer a chunky color. And this one's actually a new Gigi custom mix. It's called Tiana. Take a look at that. She's absolutely gorgeous. And the second, uh, the third one is going to be um, Magnolia. Sorry, I'm tongue twisted, guys. Okay, Magnolia. Um, so you can add as many p colors as you want. I'm actually going to stick with these three. Hmm, I may add in dandelion in a bit, but I'll wait to see on that one. Um, but, uh, yeah, so you can add as many colors as you want. Just, uh, keep in mind that you'll be adding layers to your cup. So just be mindful of that. You're also going to need a scrap of paper or wax paper nearby to capture all of your glitter. And I have one that I've already used. Used? Okay. So let's go ahead and open our Mod Podge and get... However it is that you guys use Mod Podge, I normally put it in a silicone bowl where I can pour it in and use from there. And the brush that I use, I prefer using the foam brushes. They're just so much easier to use for me. I also like how um, for the second layer, it really dives in that glitter for us. All right, so I'm just gonna pop in my hand here. Gonna have my Remington color open and ready. pop in my hand you can absolutely use a one um so i'm gonna go ahead and add mod podge and i'm gonna fast forward you guys and we'll be right back We're gonna let this dry for, I don't know, 15 minutes, not even guys. Uh, go make yourself a cup of coffee, um, have a glass of wine, come back, and we'll be ready to add that second layer, all right? Okay guys, so we've let this dry and we're gonna go ahead and add our Mod Podge again and then we'll add our second coat of glitter and we're going to let that dry for 30 minutes. All right guys, so we let this all sit and dry for 30 minutes and we're ready to do our painted on geode. So, um, what you're going to need, and I actually did decide to go ahead and add a second, a, well, a fourth color to this. I'm gonna be adding peony, which is our fine opal. 
And um, again, we're using Tiana, which is a Gigi Custom Mix and Magnolia, okay? So for this part of our Painted Geo tutorial, you're going to need your glitters of choice, um, however you apply your Mod Podge, and I use my silicone bowl. You're going to need um, a spray sealer and your brushes of choice. So again, I really like my foam brush um, for applying my, my glitter but I'm also um, getting like these smaller brushes to help because I'm not going to need a lot of our, of all the glitters, um, only very minimal in some areas. So I wanna have some smaller brushes to apply that Mod Podge and kind of guide where my Mod Podge is gonna go. Okay, so let's get to the biggest portion of this and I'm gonna go ahead and grab my pool noodle contraption thingy so that it can hold my cup okay so guys cheapest thing to make cut one of your foam noodles in half not even and just coolest thing easy to do okay so i'm going to start off with tiana um because if you look up geo tumblers at uh, well geo rocks geo rocks are actually um they have like a really chunky rock on the inside so that's what we're going to create so let's see here hmm i guess it's deciding whether we're doing up or down so i'm going to start from the down section I'm gonna up, open up my Mod Podge pour that in here guys I'm gonna do it on this side so you can see me there all right and I'm gonna go ahead and just dip my foam brush and this is why I like my foam brush for this for this instance is because I am actually going to be kind of guiding and pushing I don't know if you guys got to see some of those tips I left you um, during that fast forward, but I'm pushing the glue onto the glitter and the cup. I am not swiping, okay? Uh, when you swipe, you just, you, you can accidentally move some of your glitters around and you don't want that. You really just want to push, okay? Push, pat, pat. And I'm not gonna start with a big area uh, because I want to get as many realistic openings as I can get on this cup. So I'm going to do that. Okay. So I made like this, like kind of like a small V. Think of it like a split and I'm going to leave my brush on there. Okay. This is where I'm going to grab my, oh, well, I can actually do this. I can put my paper underneath that in case some of my glitter falls. And with just how I'm doing it, however you have a shaker, a bag, whatever works for you, I'm pouring a little bit and I'm grabbing my finger and I'm just pressing down, okay? I'm pressing, pressing down. And this is actually a very, uh, uh, a new uh, custom mix that we have in our in our collection and I'm absolutely in love with it because it's just I was like wow this is actually the perfect if you're doing like a realistic geo like I've seen beautiful ones that are like an opal uh like an opal base and then like blues and stuff oh they're just gorgeous there's so many renditions of this type of cup and it looks so difficult to do but they're not they're so much fun and they're so easy to do, so easy. Okay, I'm gonna gonna let that fall. Okay, I'm pat, pat, patting that down. Anytime you're working with any type of chunky, just do yourself a favor and press it down. It's such a pain in the rear sometimes. So much fun to work with. Chunkies are so much fun. Um, I know there's a lot of people that are afraid of using them, but I, I'm not, I love them. They're so much fun. And I actually 
have, let's see, I have some Remington mix in there, so I won't be able to see that. Okay. Now, if you guys want to add some more to this, you absolutely can. Um, let's see, I'm not, I am going to go ahead and give this another little layer here. And with me doing the second layer, I'm actually um, sealing down this first layer of glitter onto, onto the cup, okay? And so I'm absolutely okay with doing that. I do have a paper towel nearby, which I'm wiping off my foam brush, but I'm actually only gonna be using this brush for this color. And like I said, I'm basically I'm sealing down this this layer, okay? Now, whenever you're using a lot of different glitter colors, it can be very hard to keep them all in its place. And this is why we're going to be using a sealer to seal down our areas. And I'll show you what that looks like. All right, I'm just sealing them, pressing and pressing, pressing, pressing. And as you can see, I'm very careful in the way I'm pouring out my glitter because I don't, I don't wanna waste too much considering I know there's gonna be a cross contamination between my colors and I don't want that. I don't, I don't wanna waste too much glitter. If you guys have, are, have been to my channel before, you know that I don't like to waste anything, okay? All right, perfect, perfect. Awesome. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this off real quick. Now I'm done with these two brushes and I'm going to lay down my peony. Okay. <coughs> so you're going to continue this with every rock layer that you do okay so i'm gonna go ahead and start this and then i will fast forward myself through it okay Okay guys, so this is mine, how it looks. Now, you're just gonna continue the same process around the cup. All right guys, so on the back side, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of do a more rounded off kind of design. And so I'm gonna be using my, the, the more, I'm sorry, the more little brush for that to kind of guide around before I enter, I enter with the foam brush, okay?
All right, guys. So you've painted on your design, as you can see. And I, when we first started, we started with this one, right? So I wanted to kind of complete what was happening here. And uh, so that's why I brought it down as you saw. And then um, I did like little tiny ones, one without Tiana in it, just kind of like the rock was splitting. Um, this one was one of my favorite. And like, here's the thing, it's art. So you have to do your best. Um, you have to not judge yourself and you have to just keep playing with it. So this is why I have the different brush sizes. Um, as you saw, I used a lot of, let me put this down, I'll show you guys. I used a lot of this size brush to kind of guide my Mod Podge. I kind of used it like paint, um, like a guide of where I wanted, how to haphazardly place my my Mod Podge. Okay, so I started like that, loved it. Um, this is not done um, and we're gonna make it look completed. So now we're gonna go ahead and do a flood coat of epoxy over this um, and if you don't know what a flood coat is, a flood coat is double of the amount of epoxy that you normally use. So for example, if you're laying down 20 mls of epoxy for your first layer to avoid having to do a second layer, you're gonna do 40 mls of epoxy um, so that you can cover this. So before we even get to this and I'm actually gonna take I'm gonna be a little bit safe here and I'm gonna go ahead and do 50 mls of epoxy so that I know that my my epoxy is covered and I'll ha show that on camera I'm just in love with this guys it's just gorgeous anyway um before we continue I'm gonna sit this down for a second I want you guys before you lay any epoxy down I need you guys to seal your design, okay? Not once, not twice, not three times. Seal it four times, giving it, um, you know, giving yourself at least 10 to 15 minutes per spray to, um, to let it dry, okay? And then once you're done with the fourth seal, let it sit alone at least an hour so that all your colors do not shift during epoxy. You don't want it to shift. You want it to look like this. You you know, as you saw, this is a labor of love. Um, you, you guys are going to see the fast forwarded version of me painting this on, but as I'm looking at my time, it's 50 minutes. So it is absolutely a labor of love. Um, so just, you know, seal it. Make sure that you're protecting your baby. Um, and this is what it looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and um, get this prepped for epoxy. And then we will be back to epoxy this and then we'll be doing uh, what I would like to call part three of this game-changing geode. All right, see you back. So we've sealed this off four times. And um, I just want to give you guys a tip it to ensure that everything is like anything, any stragglers that you may have on here are moved away. I just grab any type of brush. I'm using this one and I just wipe off to make sure that I don't have any stragglers so that they don't move. Okay. Um, I'm going to be using my silicone brush and I'm going to go ahead and pour a flood coat of epoxy. Um, again, this is just double the normal amount that you would use. All right. Hey guys, okay, so we've let our beautiful cup 
spin um, and it is covered. I do have some areas where um, like it, it peered up a little bit and that happens with chunky glitters. This is why I always say like, make sure you're patting this down. Um, but my, my glitters are really covered very well. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is walk over with you the supplies that you're gonna need for this round. Um, I am going to give this a light sand and I am really big on telling you all do not sand your on your first coat but the only reason I'm sanding this cup is because I just want to get down these little like these little areas where it peered up a little bit more um, where it's a little rough like it's like one or two spots so I'm gonna like a light sand I'm not going in on it where I'm gonna scratch my glitter I'm just doing a light sand so I can get this semi down so when I do my second layer of glitter um, of epoxy I'm gonna be able to cover it and not have to worry about sanding again um, so this is why I'm going ahead and doing that um, so a sanding block I have mine um, you're going to need a sharpie or a um, medium I think this is a medium point yeah a medium point pen see it looks like that can you see um, and it could be uh, you know you could use a sharpie metallic or um, these are actually the Cricut brands guys this is the Cricut 1.0 and it's gold okay so that's the color I'm choosing to go with to create my lines and kind of make all of this rock look as one um, I have 91% isopropyl alcohol on hand so that I can wipe down my sanding, um, a little napkin. Um, again, we're going to use our sealant one more time because we want to seal our line to the cup um, so that when we are laying down our epoxy, it does not smear. Okay. Um, and I have my cup on my pool noodle again so this is the fun part because this is where you're gonna go ahead and just bring this all together so very haphazardly you're gonna go ahead and make out your line so I'm gonna bring this so I can see it a little better and all I'm doing is where the split on the two glitters so where we started our second layer or a third, whatever you want to call it, the layers between the glitters, I'm going to go ahead and make a haphazard line. I'm not, as you can see, it's not straight. It's a little crooked and that's the creation of the rock, right? Because I don't, I don't want it to be perfect. I want it to be kind of squiggly around. See? Bam. How beautiful is that? And then I'm missing my center one and I wanted gold because we're this the glitters that we chose and are so metallic -y, they're so silver that I wanted to highlight that again by peering in the gold so the gold works on its own as a accent but they go ahead and do that. See how gorgeous, right? And you're going to go ahead and do that to this side. Now, what I did forget to start with is my sand. So I actually have one little piece here, which need to be sanded. Thankfully, nothing on the areas that I worked. Um, but I'm gonna just quickly sand that down. So you wanna do the sanding piece before, before you do the lines, guys. So that was an error of mine, but that's okay. It's not that big a deal. Just gotta be a little careful around those areas. All right, and all I'm doing is I'm just like, sanding this down so it no longer feels like a knife is sticking up and that's what happens with chunky glitter it's like it's bumpy and it, it almost hurts um if they're not flatted and what i mean by flatted is like you're pushing it down before epoxy okay 
So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and finish our design. So you're gonna follow along and continue creating your lines. Okay guys, so once you're done doing your lines, again, haphazardly, like no, like no perfect lines, this is a rock, right? So you can use different colors, you can use, um, again, like it, as long as it has a medium point and it's metallic, like it's gonna create the look. So I, um, I would work at it like this and then if your cup is smooth enough now it should be if you did a flood coat followed what i did and did a flood coat so like all of this is very um it's very smooth except for like the parts where tiana was i have a little bit of bumps but i don't want to cover up my rock so if I, when i'm going to add my decal oh i forgot to do the bottom i gotta do the bottom um where i'm going to add my decals will more than likely be on the parts where Remington is on, which is the pewter, I call it pewter, um, the pewter silver, um, because I don't wanna cover up my design. And th that's what I'll do. I'll go ahead and add my decals if you want, but if you want this to be completely smooth before you add the vinyl, your vinyl, your decals, or whatever you're gonna do, then just do that. Like cover, do a second coat of epoxy, um, so that you have a very smooth layer but this is what your design is supposed to look like guys isn't it gorgeous um, and if I haven't mentioned already guys please give this video a thumbs up like and subscribe to our channel and um, if you haven't done so already click the link below to join our glitterful glitter glitterful glitter fanatics group on Facebook um, it's just a great place for all types of crafters um, sharing their love for the craft and glitterful glitter so uh, check us out on Facebook like and follow our business page um, and we will see you all soon have a glitterful day bye